Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Medici. And the topic of discussion is uh, pretty interesting today. So today I'll talk about two companies specifically, which you should not consider at your early phase. Like, you know, if you have experience of freshers, zero to six years or five years possibly, you should not consider this company for joining. If you have multiple offer, don't join these two companies. Now, this will be my personal opinion. You may have completely different uh, scenario that you have seen if you are working in these two companies. And uh, there is no reason to defame these companies because these companies are literally big, one of the biggest company uh, consulting firm, definitely. They have they are fortune companies they have fortune top 100 clients so in terms of brand value in terms of growth it has absolutely nothing to say but what i observed uh, in this company for freshers or slightly junior role uh, that i am go going to tell so first company is definitely one and only accenture so you may be shocked to uh, know this statement that you should not consider if you are you know in junior do not consider accenture i'll explain why i'm telling this and the next is nagaro now both the companies are cmm level 5 they have all the process in place accenture have i believe more than 5 lakhs of employees in more than uh, 1 lakh of employees in india i mean it might be higher and nagaro has pretty much good amounts of strength and they have a major footfall of uh, like you know East, eastern region uh, in our country and in terms of technology they are doing absolutely great but i will tell you why freshers should not i mean it's not about freshers like fresher software engineer senior software engineer they should refrain to join these companies i'll go one by one so first of all accenture has they are infamous PIP program, like performance improvement program that will come usually on January once their final ratings are out. 10% of their employee will be going to PIP process. So that was the bell curve process they, they used to earlier follow. Afterward, it is not the bell curve that they, these days they don't follow the bell curve, but still the PIP is present and it is present across level. I have created a separate video. I'll put a link in right side of this, uh, the description possibly I put a link. You can see the Accenture PIP video. You'll get to know everything about Accenture PIP policy. So this is the main reason why I uh, should not recommend Accenture for junior people, PIP. And uh, I'll, I'll let her explain the entire stuff. Now for Nagaro, the problem with this company is they hire employee with slightly higher package. And the problem is after going to Nagaro, if you cannot perform or if you're not able to crack the project interview or client specific interview, they will ask you to resign. So that is a problem. Like, you know, in, in what will happen in TCS, Cognizant, Wipro, uh, Mindtree, L, and sorry, uh, Tech Mahindra, Infosys, SCL, they might have a lot of clients. So even someone is not able to crack one interview, they will definitely get more chances. But in Nagado, the chances are less. Client interview or project interview is sometimes pretty difficult. Even though their hiring process is also difficult compared to all other service-based industries. And Nagado is also a service-based industry, but their hiring process is slightly difficult. The first round is coding round, definitely. And then there will be two subsets technical round so the hiring process itself difficult but even though somebody cracks and then they are not able to perform during the project interview then they will ask you to resign so that is the main reason that uh, I'm telling if you are freshers having less experience don't consider these two company now I'll go back to my first uh, like you know, about Accenture what I have observed I was there in Accenture for a few years now the what will happen in Accenture if you join Accenture, you will get like, you know, uh, associate uh, like software engineer, engineer position. So that is fine. Or the associate software engineer trainee. So by default, one year you will become a software engineering an analyst. So that promotion is almost default. So 90, 95% people will get. So no problem on it. Problem starts after that. So from software engineer and senior software engineer, these are the most two position are vulnerable to get PIP. So what will usually happen in Accenture, uh, around 5 to 10 percent employees uh, they need to the the managers or the supervisor they need to give uh, like you know pip and rest all is 70 80 they can give promotion they can give good ratings so those 10 percent unfortunate uh, people even though they have performed well they need to go through the pip process and accenture pip process is very difficult to clear and it's only one month so they will never pay the like you know even though they have a three months of notice period they will not usually 
uh, pay three months salary upfront and ask the employee to leave. No, that will not happen. Possibly they will give one month for entire like you know PIP to complete. If employee is not able to clear, they will give another seven to eight days or two weeks. By the time you need to resign and you need to uh, look out for the job. So PIP is uh, like really difficult to clear. Now why these juniors are getting PIP is because you know like once you pick people become senior like TL associate manager manager those onwards they have a little influence over the management right so they are senior they know bits and pieces in and out they know whom to whom to reach out in order to like you know in order to get a good rating but people are junior having two or three years experience they don't know that politics that much thing so for that reason usually when we see most of the cases senior software engineer and software engineer these kind of people are usually get pip and in 50 percent case it is not justified because as per like you know managers also they are helpless because they need to give at least one or two resource pip 10 percent of the resource they need to put pip so they cannot give the, their tl to pip right but it is easier for them to uh, like you know put the pip to the least experienced guy they might not be that much critical right <clears throat> so that is the reason uh, if you have other offer do not consider accenture in your early days early phase of career so it might i mean so even though i have seen a lot of people got pip they didn't clear they joined a good company but why to take this stress like you know you will suddenly feel that you are not so good uh, but you possibly don't know that the reason what why you got pip that because they cannot give pip to the associate manager or manager or the tl right so you are most vulnerable the juniors are basically <laughs> now coming back to nagaro nagaro is uh, a, as i told it's a good company but if you do not have project they will ask you to resign now what you can do in order even if you are working in these two companies and if you are in junior level what you can do in order to avoid pip or avoid layoff okay so for for accenture okay so for accenture try to try to tack to a client project so in accenture there are a lot of internal projects uh, that is run by accenture lot of initiative lot of uh, like you know uh, r&d project where there is no direct client billing so try to avoid this that project as much as possible try to tack to a client project and if it is possible then try to join a good client like microsoft apple they have the top client try to join there try to go their office and work so that accenture cannot put you pip because if you are working say for hyderabad if you're working from hyderabad and if you are going to a microsoft campus then the microsoft will take care of your rating and all you even though your manager has to give 10 percent pip so you they cannot do because microsoft want you to want you to work from their offices on the next year onwards right so try to go to, go into a project do not get into a internal project and one more one more thing uh like you know so in accenture Bangalore location is very good in terms of project. Similarly, you need to identify which location is good. Some Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, and Gurgaon. This even Pune. These few locations are really good. But other than that, if you are working from Kolkata, Noida, uh, then you might be at risk. So they have limited number of resources working from here, and also very less project. So work from a location for a location where you have enough no, enough project. And if you are not feeling in a, like in a good in the project, ask directly to leave the project and join to a different project. Okay. And for Nagaro, I would say like if you are working as a say .NET developer or Java developer or even UI developer, try to explore more. Try to see like if you can contribute as a full stack developer. So if you know Java, learn Angular. If you know .NET, try to learn Angular or Type or React JS, right? So try to try to be yourself as a full stack developer so that you can easily crack, you know, their client interviews. And people are maybe for testing domain and definitely uh, manual testing will not work. So go and learn uh, automation testing, API testing, database testing, lot of other stuff, uh, cloud and everything, right? So in order to basically you need to do a lot of uh, upskilling if you are staying in Nagaro. Now, <clears throat> that's all about this uh, like, you know, uh, video. And if you have anything apart from this about these two companies, please let me know in the comment below. I love to. Uh, know from you so i just wanted i was just going through this post and i got to see a lot of uh, laying off uh, that is happening in nagaro and most of the cases this is from junior level i thought let's uh, like you know, create a video so that people also can be a little bit aware of this fact thank you guys